Well, I think it's a symbolic day today. It's the 15th of March. It's a day when in another uh, country of Europe an election is going on where the voice of Islamophobia seems to be heard loud and clear. This is the poison. What we are offering today is the remedy for this poison. Instead of cursing the darkness, we want to light the candle. We want to show that there is much more than meets the eye in convergence between Islam and Christianity. And if Islam and Christianity, which represents more than half of the world population, decide to join forces to promote equal citizenship rights for all people, including what we call minorities across the world, Christian minorities in the Middle East, uh, uh, Yazidi minorities in the Middle East, Muslim minorities, in uh, Myanmar or in Europe, if we join our forces to promote equal citizenship rights, then perhaps we won't need to refer to minorities anymore. Minorities will, uh, religious minorities in particular, will just become one of the features of diversity, which makes the beauty of any nationality in which uh, combined with a common design, common aspirations make up uh, the uh, personality, the nationality of any person or group of persons. We have found today that there is this antidote to the, uh, the poison I referred to earlier, but it's not enough to provide rhetorical response to such a a, um, a challenge, a world challenge. The what we want to do is to follow up on on this uh, meeting of minds that has taken place here today to organize a world conference on religions, creeds, and value systems. On the one hand, uh, allied for the promotion of uh, equitable, citizen, uh, equal citizenship rights. Uh, we think that such a world conference involving uh, the world in, in all its beautiful diversity can make a contribution to promoting peace and solidarity in a context where we live today, where there's an accumulation of tension and crises which bodes ill for the preservation of peace.